thesmartlocal.com. And today, you are joining me on another Insta Walk with MND. Together with M Parks and URA, we are going to explore the Civic District. It started out as a master plan by Sir Stanford Raffles in 1822. Today, it features one of the most notable buildings, museums, protected parks, and memorial spaces, many of which have been refurbished and restored. And best of all, this is no ordinary Insta Walk. We're exploring the heart of our little red dot amazing ray style. But before we get going, let's meet three very special guests joining us today, and they are. So, are you guys ready to race through the Civic District? Yeah! yeah let's go! of the Marina Bay Waterfront, the Esplanade Outdoor Theatre can seat over 450 people, making this spacious outdoor theatre the perfect venue for a wide variety of performances ranging from music to dance for everyone to enjoy. to celebrate Singapore's Golden Jubilee, this bridge gives pedestrians barrier-free access between the Esplanade and the Malayan Park. And on this bridge, teams will have to use the mirrors provided to take creative shots of the Marina Bay area. <laughs> Esplanade Park has been around since 1943 and it's one of the oldest heritage parks in Singapore. While here, visitors can check out the newly built children's playground as well as the extremely Instagrammable waterfront steps at Queen Elizabeth Walk. This park is also part of the Car Free Zone in conjunction with Car Free Sunday Singapore organised by URA. And one of the activities visitors can do during Car Free Sunday is... Yoga! So our teams have to attempt to recreate a group yoga pose before they can head out to their next location. The theatre in front of the Victoria Theatre and Concert Hall is the Empress Lawn. With phone charging benches and the transplantation of eight mature rain trees to provide shade, this is the best place to take a break from the hustle and bustle of the city. But the teams have no time for a break. They will have to exercise their creativity and snap pictures with a different perspective. Just a stone's throw away from Empress Lawn is Asian Civilizations Museum, home to exhibitions that showcases the region's long and diverse history. And located on its front lawn is 24 Hours in Singapore, an interactive audio sculpture installation that showcases the unique and familiar soundscape of Singapore. The reflective surfaces of this installation provide the perfect opportunity for an Instagram picture and teams will have to do just that before heading towards the next location. Sir Stamford Raffles is the founder of Modern Singapore and many people believe that this was the exact spot that he first landed on 29 January 1819. Teams will have to take a creative shot of the poly marble statue you see right there. The National Gallery Singapore is a combination of two national monuments, 
the former Supreme Court building and City Hall. It has a combined floor area of 64,000 square meters, making it the largest visual arts center and the largest museum in Singapore. finally reached our final location and that is Fort Canning Park. This iconic landmark has seen many of Singapore's historical milestones through the years. What we do here is go back, 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 back. Fort Canning Green is a sprawling lawn that plays host to concerts, theatre productions and festivals such as Shakespeare in the Park and Ballet Under the Thumb. Teams will face another detour and that is Headstone or Five Stones. In Headstones, teams will have to find the headstone of architect George Drumgo Coleman, Singapore's first architect. And in Five Stones, teams will have to creatively photograph the five stones given with any part of Fort Canning Green as a backdrop. you're seeing right now is actually the remnants of the fortress that once occupied Fort Canning Hill from 1861 to 1926. This is our final stop for this install. Wrap up and take their final team photos. Many are uploading their pictures onto Instagram. And before long, we'll find out the three people who have taken the best shots of Civic District. Hi, welcome to the Civic District. One of the key things here was to create safe spaces for activities as well as these casual pedestrians. You just enjoy the place. I think it was important that as we develop this place, that families and children are accounted for within the plans. The other thing that we do find quite attractive here is the new steps that we have developed just along the waterfront in front of Queen Elizabeth Walk. Each of the platform also has USB charging points, so they hang out there with their phones plugged in with the music play. Esplanade Park is where we have the heritage trees, the oldest one being about 130 years old. So this is really part and parcel of the identity and the richness of the Esplanade Park. Esplanade Park is really rich in history. Some of these trees were planted in the 1880s, which means they're about 130 years old. These trees were there to witness, you know, Prime Minister Lee Kuan Yew declaring Singapore's independence as well as our first National Day Parade at the Plaza. I think it was a great initiative, a great program. This is like the first time that we've been on something like this. Yeah, yeah. and um, now I think we gained a lot of knowledge about our, uh, our little areas in Singapore. I think next time when our friends come to Singapore, we know where to take them. Very fun, all together. I learned a lot of things that, and I see a lot of things that i never see before. To be able to I explore all of this is very great out here. Uh, taking a walk around the Civil Street actually like showed me a lot of new places where actually you see so much more about Singapore. I hardly find a reason to come here but then I learned a lot more. Like, I didn't know that there were still tombstones from the 1800s over here. There were a lot of places that I didn't even know existed and it's really like if you want to take like a good Instagram OOTD shot this is like the perfect backdrop and it's not even that inaccessible. It's like you yeah. take the train and then you come out, it's like there already. Quite futuristic now already. Compared to olden times, um, now it's a lot better and the skyscrapers, the architecture there is very different. It makes uh, Singapore very unique. For me, I think I would like to see even more uh, nature or art that you can find along the way. I think that is what would make it more special. I think that it's quite well planned out in a way that it encourages people to have a reason to still go out there and enjoy some 
quiet time in the midst of the natural setting. Myself will be the aesthetic park area, so there's like um, the whole stretch of waterfront area. There's a lot of art installation and everything that people can just chill over there and all. Yeah, I think we like the waterfront steps. That was my favorite, I think. You've got good memories. There. Yeah, good memories. Yeah. Good memories there good memories. in the past before it developed. And now that we've been there after the development, yeah. I think I, I will be visiting it a lot more often. Yeah. And we have come to the end of yet another Insta walk. Thank you MND and Parks and URA for making all of this possible. If you're looking for more information on when the next Insta walk will be, follow MND Singapore and the Smart Local SG on Instagram. Until next time, bye! bye.